Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media doing a follow-up video on a um, YouTube video that I did back in September of 2017. This video, how to make Elementor work with the Genesis front page, um, was to address basically on Genesis front pages, if you have widgets activated and you try to activate Elementor on it, it will give you an error. You actually have to go and um, disable the widgets in order to build on your home page. And if uh, you're unsure about that, or you haven't seen the video, here's the video on the screen. Um, just check out my channel and you'll see it. So I had a viewer with a follow-up question that's a really good one. So he essentially said, if he comments out his widgets, he's going to have a blank home page. And he wants to build his page first. So what do you do if you want to build your home page in the background with Elementor and then migrate it to your front page without any kind of downtime on your home page? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create it in the background, export it as a template, and pop it on your home page when you're ready, uh, and only when you're ready, so that your site stays intact until that point. So here we go. It's just a couple steps. You'll find it very easy. Um, so I have a staging site here. Here's my home page, and it's a little messed up because I do a lot of testing on it. Um, so anyway, here's a widget. Here's a widget. Here's a widget all the way down. So here's what I want to do. I want to leave my home page the way it is so my site uh, doesn't have any quirkiness about it. All right, so I'm going to go to New and New Page because I'm going to build a new home page in the background. And by the way, if anybody watches these videos and has a question for me, I'd love to answer them, and I will do so. Just write me and let me know what your question is, and I'll happily make a video for you. All right, so here is my new page. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to set this full width. With Genesis, you have a layout settings area down here. Set it full width and go back up and save it as a draft. Don't even worry about a page title. Next, you're going to click Edit with Elementor. All right, here's your blank page. This is the page you're going to begin to build out your home page and get it ready to migrate over. So just for sake of uh, example, let's just create a simple page. Um, I'm going to throw a, a title in there. Um, let me throw, what else? What else can I put in there? A map. I'll throw, I'll throw a map in there. Um, let me put, let's see, let's put a video, which Elementor always puts its own default placeholder video. All right, and I'm going to drop in some posts. So your latest blog posts, for me, they're pretty old. But um, anyway, so let's say you've been working on this. Your, your home page is looking good, and now you're ready to migrate it over. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go save draft just to make sure I've saved it one time. Then in the same area, beside the publish, there's an arrow. You're going to click that and go save as template. As soon as you do that, you have a, a screen that comes up that says save your page to library. I'm going to name it home and hit save and it's saved to my library. All right. So at this point, when I decide, hey, now's a good time to make the change, I'm going to come over here and disable my home page widgets. All right. So let me come to edit themes. And remember, this is in uh, your home page, front page .php. And up here, it's going to be this one. Look at the last video if you're not sure what I'm doing. So I'm going to put uh, two forward slashes to comment that out. I'm going to hit update file. And my home page should go blank. All right. And you see a blank page here. Now, all you have to do is go over here to add template. Click that. And I'm going to find the template I saved, which is going to be under my templates. I'm going to find home. I'm going to come over here and hit insert, and it should insert my entire page. And my screen's jumping. Um, I don't know if that's because I have 50,000 tabs open at the same time. But anyway, uh, so there's my page. I just inserted it. I'm going to go to update, and that should do it. Now I, I can probably go to my home page, and it should look good. Yep, there's my home page, my brand new home page, and that's all there is to it.
So the steps are create a new page, build it out, save it as a draft, save it as a template, comment out your widgets or disable your widgets on your homepage and import that template right to your homepage. That's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, hit me with your questions. I'll answer them in a video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. More videos coming.